If you've ever considered going to see a chiropractor, I'm pretty sure this video is going to change your mind. Oh, hey, by the way, my shirt's pretty cool, right? It's got a bunch of pockets on it and stuff. It's cool, right? Uh, that's because it's made by Cool Shirts, the sponsor for today's video. Uh, more on that later. I think we've all seen the videos. We've heard the pops. We've seen the cracks. We've seen the smiles. <laughs> we've seen... Mm, um, I can't think of anything else to say. But guys, my concern is that no one's taking the time to dig a little bit deeper. What are we missing here? Why is it so entertaining? Are we entertained by the crackles or the pops? Or are we, you know, are people finding other things to pay attention to. Well, that's what we're gonna look into today because guys, the chiropractor stuff, it's getting a little bit weird. You know, personally me, I, I love a good knuckle pop. I can do one right now for you, do my thumb, it's kind of cool. Ooh, I'm the type of guy who pops his joints for pleasure, you know, to, 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 to pleasure himself. Wait, wait. I'm not the type of guy who wants to go to the doctor to be, you know, cracked in half, uh, much like a glow stick. But um, pain isn't really the main topic of conversation today. Um, I think we're... I want to hop in with Dr. Alex. He's on TikTok under the name O.C. Uh, you can read it. And you can tell immediately from looking at his page that, you know, he really wants to get that viewership. He wants he wants people to see the pops. You can see he's calling this poor woman crispy uh, with a K. And it looks like in this one he, uh, oh. Oh my god. Well, I think we should just move on from that uh, and never watch it. But let's start with this one. Captioned, she's taller after that. And the cracking noise is just gas being released. It's not your bones cracking. Okay. Okay. Make sure I don't have any gas to release. Really gross. Cool. Didn't need to know that. You're not supposed to be the creepy one here, okay? Look, her friend's over there just laughing it up. Think she's gassy too? Personally, I support the gassy girl movement. Um, I don't... Not really sure where I was going with that one, but I just... I'm, I'm an ally, guys. Come on. <laughs> first timer? Yes, this is my first time. You're really excited? I am. <laughs> why, did he t why did he take such a long pause? You're really excited. I don't really know if that was a question. It sounded more like a demand to me. You're excited. Get excited for me. You're excited. Don't worry, it's okay to be excited, all right? I, uh, I get excited every day. Here. Just let it fall. <clears throat> oh, it sounded like he... <laughs> it sounded like she gagged a little bit. Oh my gosh! Isn't it like a surprising good wow. feeling, though? That was, uh... That was special. <laughs> oh my god! What is his deal? It's creepy! Uh, that one was really special. You were saying earlier that you were just a little bit gassy. Maybe we could see some of that. Is is that stupid? <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> that Are we in a relationship now? <laughs> no, no! Don't give him what he wants! Don't give him that satisfaction. He already probably makes enough money as it is. Fuck him. Not. Don't. Don't. Fuck him. Fuck, you know, fuck, fuck him. <laughs> I'm sure by this point, if you've watched me for a while, you'll notice that I seem to talk in circles. And when I talk in circles, I say the wrong things. But guys, don't take me out of context. I know what I'm doing. So I'm sure you guys understand what I'm trying to get at here. The medical profession, especially when it comes to dealing with literally physically handling the body can become very intimate. But I think, you know, when I go to the doctor, I don't want to be intimate with the doctor. Like, you know when the doctor takes his stethoscope and he, he puts it up to your chest and he's like, deep breath. <laughs> and then he gets quieter and quieter as he keeps going. That's my favorite part. And, and my least favorite part, my bad. See, this version of the doctor, he's gonna tell you to take a deep breath. And after that, you're either going to feel really good or you're going to uh, have, I don't know, brain damage or something. Is that how that works? Wait, I actually just looked it up. You can increase your risk of stroke by cracking your neck because of all the blood vessels. Um, does anyone else smell toast? So that was pretty weird, right? Um, but it gets weirder. You're probably so surprised you're probably thinking, Andy, what is, you know, uh, what's your name? Well, I just told you my name is Andy because I refer to myself. We're going to see what's going on here with AT Chiropractic on TikTok. Uh, seems like he has the same kind of thing going on, but uh, a little bit weirder. Uh. Oh, wrong website. <laughs> my bad, guys. Yeah, that was like the first second and a half of the video. A couple things I want to point out right off the bat. Uh, first of all, look at him. He's feeling it. Second of all, she's fucking straddling the table. I'm not sure if this is necessary. And it makes me wonder if this was her personal choice in terms of comfort or whether he was like, no, 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 no. I'm the doctor, okay? I know, I know what I'm doing. I'm the doctor and you're the patient. And I'm telling you, if you don't mount it, then you're going to end up looking stupid and ugly. And also, I'm going to tell all your friends bad things about you, which is, you know, uh, 
Dude, 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 dude. It does every single crime. This has to be pre-planned. There is no way this isn't pre-planned. Um, just from a purely objective standpoint, really not liking the little two-finger rub that he's doing. If I were to sit here and make fun of what's happening so far in the video, I would just sit here and moan like a fucking buffoon. And since this is proving to be anything but medical, I'm going to rest my case and we're just going to keep moving. I guess I should make it clear that for all YouTube is concerned, um, I'm not doing anything wrong by showing this. This is a medical procedure. Uh, even though I just said that it wasn't, that part was a joke. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's time we take a pause and look at some of the comments on this video. I'm interested to see what other people think, right? Because I, I, I can't be the only one, right? I know this guy likes his job. I know I would. How can relate? I'm not the only one, am I? What? Yeah, I won what no, I'm not the only one either. So you went out but died. I think I have a new dream job. No way. I just clicked on this guy's profile and the first video is with him and his girlfriend. What if his girlfriend saw that? Uh, this person just said not acceptable, <laughs> which is probably probably the most agreeable comment. Let's take a look at this next one from the Manhattan Wellness Group. Uh, sounds pretty legit. Hopefully they do not um, mess this up. Excellent. Just have you look this way for me. And again, just relax it out. I'm just gonna make sure I got the right SI. I didn't even hear anything um, on that. That kind of sucked. It seems that these doctors probably suggest that their patients come in wearing comfortable and flexible clothing. What if I just showed up wearing this? And the doctor was like, no, 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 that's not gonna do. Sorry, doctor, let me just go to the Lulu store real quick and spend my entire savings for the month. I'll get all juicy for you. Also, doctor, I know you love that crispy popping sound uh, as well as gas release, so I ate 15 Kid Cuisine meals before I came here. Oh, this is gonna be a treat. I would actually say that this guy was the least creepy so far. He genuinely just seemed like he was doing his job. And for what it was worth, I think this was a pretty normal video. So, uh, good job. Well, let's take a look at some of the comments. He knows what he's doing. I'm actually gonna disagree this time. Uh, I actually think this guy is really just doing his job. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Uh, but I think objectively that makes him a lot more stupid. I mean, everyone is just a fucking slobby creep. Best job, reason he loves his job. Mm, I'm gonna be a chiropractor practice when I'm older. It doesn't change. Everyone's thirsty. Everyone's thirsty. You know, why am I complaining? Am I the only person who's bothered by this? I can't be. I can't be. I can be. You know, that, that would be kind of cool. That makes me unique. I want to take a step away from TikTok for the next one um, because YouTube is filled with longer videos. Uh, and there's actually a pretty popular chiropractor on YouTube who goes by the name of Mondragon Chiropractic. Uh, on this channel, you can find things such as this guy getting his back blown out, intense dragon queen back crunches. Here's this one called 50 Shades Darker Chiropractic Scraping. What? is that guys i'm not clicking because i'm into it i'm not clicking because i'm into it I'm, I'm i'm interested but I, i'm not it looks like the video starts off with like the longest disclaimer of all time uh that i won't read there's a couple do nots in all caps uh so i'm gonna heed those her name is dr brenda mondragon would you go to a doctor with dragon in their name dr dragon dragon d's nut wow you know what i really am funny this video is 23 minutes long so i see what we do is we find a couple moments in here that are worth talking about and then we um um, you know, well, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen next. That hurt? No. Okay, it's not out of place. The ankle's good. Sometimes when toes break, the ankle. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't, um, it wasn't funny. It was actually quite morbid, a little bit scary. Oh my gosh, she is using a, some kind of massage tool. Cool. But it looks like she's having her skin flayed. Skipping that, that was horrible. It's like hiding. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying to wiggle its way around me. You Hold know, on. I feel like I'm watching a very normal chiropractor video, which raises probably the biggest question I've had this entire 23 minutes. Why is it called Fifty Shades Darker? I skimmed multiple clips, multiple sections, almost the whole video, and there was no mention of one Christian Grey. But what have we learned from this experience? If there's anything that I can't figure out for myself, it seems like the comments are going to be able to help me. Most beautiful speaking voice of the patient. Super feminine, but rich and deep. Would be most pleasurable to listen to audiobooks with voicing like hers. Who the fuck watches this and thinks that? You have to try so hard to come up with something like that. Now, how do I prove myself as a gentleman without being creepy? Uh, uh, you'd be great in audiobooks! She's one of the most beautiful patients on this channel. Redhead, freckles, great smile. She's got it all. Dude, 
Stop. There are nine replies on this one. Interesting. <laughs> Don't worry. She won't all that. She has to be able to know how to cook for to have it all. Don't be fooled, Brody. Agree. Interesting. Red-headed devil, too bad she was wearing socks. <gasps> I say we call it a day on Fifty Shades Darker. How, how's that sound? And honestly, guys, that's it. I wanted to talk about it because it's something that's made me uncomfortable for quite some time. It can be very satisfying, but, um, yeah, it can also be a little sexual. But hey, do you want to be cool? Do you want to dress in style? Uh, well, you know, now you can by going to shirts.cool. They've got all kinds of fun, epic clothing for you to wear. And also, if you're super interested in the fun and epic clothing that they have to offer, you can use the code MUD for 10% off your order. How's that for a deal and for being cool? Well, I suppose that's everything I have to offer for you guys today, but until next time, I leave you with this.